Have you ever wondered how much damage one small cigarette can cause to a human body? It's startling to realize that a single cigarette, which takes roughly 7 minutes to smoke, is capable of causing such harm. But let's dive into the facts. Every year, smoking claims the lives of more than 8 million people worldwide. That's more than the entire population of Switzerland. Out of these 8 million, 7 million deaths result from direct tobacco use, while around 1.2 million are the result of non-smokers being exposed to secondhand smoke. Each puff of smoke contains about 4,000 different chemicals, including at least 50 known carcinogens. These harmful substances lead to a myriad of health problems, from heart disease and stroke to a variety of cancers, ranging from lung to oral. Smoking doesn't only affect the smokers. Secondhand smoke, the smoke that bystanders inhale, also carries severe health risks. It contains over 7,000 chemicals, with at least 70 that can cause cancer. This secondhand smoke results in more than 41,000 deaths among non-smoking adults and 400 sudden infant death syndrome cases in infants each year in the United States alone. Furthermore, the economic cost of smoking is staggering. It's estimated that smoking-related illnesses cost the United States more than $300 billion annually. This includes both medical costs and lost productivity due to sick days and early deaths. But here's the good news. It's never too late to quit smoking, and the benefits of quitting are immediate and profound. Just 20 minutes after you quit smoking, your heart rate drops. Within 12 hours, the carbon monoxide level in your blood drops to normal. Two weeks to three months later, your circulation improves and your lung function increases. The list goes on and the benefits continue to pile up the longer you stay smoke-free. The ban on smoking in public places has shown significant health benefits in numerous studies. For instance, a comprehensive smoking ban in England led to a rapid decrease in heart attacks, showing a drop of over 2% per year following the ban. So, the question now is, why not take action? The power to curb this global health crisis is in our hands. It's time to stand up against the tobacco industry and support smoking bans in our communities, countries and around the world. Remember, every voice counts and your voice could be the one that tips the balance. It's time to clear the smoke and create a healthier, smoke-free world for everyone. End of voiceover.